Hi friends, today I am showing mediastinal surface of left lung. First, this is the apex, posterior border, inferior border, and this is the cardiac notch with lingula. And this is the root of the lung. By presence of this, it is divided into anterior part and posterior part. Anterior part is known as mediastinal part, and posterior part is known as vertebral part. This root of the lung is having a bronchus. Left lung will have one bronchus. Right lung will have two bronchus. This is the bronchus, pulmonary artery, and two pulmonary veins, superior and inferior. This is the pulmonary trunk. This is the arch of aorta with descending thoracic aorta. These two are the left subclavian and left common carotid vessels. And this is the trachea. This is the esophagus. I'm just coloring these things. This is the arch of aorta, continues as descending thoracic aorta. This is the left subclavian artery. This is the left common carotid artery. Trachea with C shaped cartilaginous strings. This is the esophagus. This is the left phrenic nerve. That is the left recurrent pharyngeal nerve. This is the left vagus nerve. This is the thoracic duct. This is the largest lymphatic vessel. This is the posterior part. This area is particularly, it is related to vertebral bodies like intervertebral disc and posterior splanchnic vessels and nerves. And that area is related to all this area is related to the vertebral bodies. In here, you will see the impressions of left ventricle with left atrium and the infundibulum and adjoining part of right atrium, small part of right atrium you will see here and lower part of this left brachiocephalic vein also we will see here. So, you will see the heart impressions nothing but most of the left ventricle with its left atrium and adjoining part of right atrium, sorry, right ventricle. It is infundibulum.
on my return of the Vegas now. This is the left frame now. Supplies to the diaphragm. This is the left common carotid. Supply an artery, trachea. You see the impression of the left ventricle with its atrium and small part of right ventricle. This is the pulmonary ligament. Descending aorta. As I already told you, esophagus with thoracic duct. Left recurrent laryngeal nerve, which is responsible for hoarseness of voice in case of any lesions. It's the vertebral part. That is the media sternal part. This is the lingula, which is a tongue shaped projection. Thank you.